How to SEO your web page for Google. Hello and welcome back again. Now, before I show you how you can optimize your web copy, let's look at this slide and let's understand the fundamentals of on page optimization. Now, we know at the beginning of this course, I've told you that SEO actually started by customer profiling. So, therefore, before we we optimize and understand how we can further guide Google to understand our web copy we must know and create our landing pages for our potential customers because at the end of the day it is their user experience that will determine if they buy from you if they call you if they contact you and so on okay you know this I know this that is why I had to include this particular slide before we go and look at you know what else we can do on our landing pages okay because thus far we've been learning a lot and we actually um, know why certain things happen when it comes to Google okay so let me open up a sample page as we've been taking and I'm just gonna tell you how certain elements of a web page is important as we know you know Google is only limited by the web elements that it comes across okay we know this so therefore this is heading one heading ones are very important web page elements because we must understand that on internet there are standards web standards set out by w3.org okay so therefore heading ones are a very important web page element so thus Google must look at that as it's having more of an importance than the text that you have within your web copy so therefore but we also know that we shouldn't just you know um, create heading ones let's say if we are targeting um, online marketing for small business owners okay well, let's say these are the keywords that we were interested in for example then if we have our headings like this this is not smart but this is actually smarter because you can utilize heading ones if you include your keywords along these lines as in sprinkle them within it takes better practice to to utilize headings as what you see okay but nonetheless if you really take a look at what you're seeing right now it isn't actually designed for Google per se and yet it does address the needs of Google rankings as we can see we have the keywords okay so you know there may come a time that you think oh you know what you know how can I create that catchy heading right how can I create that catchy heading one right if that's the case simply identify I'm just gonna give you one example that I sometimes utilize right um, I find they are the most um, read magazine that is related to a particular online industry that I want to create heading ones for web pages right as soon as I identify whatever magazine this is I simply you know browse around online have a look at the current month's issue and on the front cover if you look really carefully most often um, people who are you know creating those magazines you know the front cover has limited screen real estate you know they need to include their images but they also include that text you know catch a text right and from that you can incorporate that into your own heading one creation okay for instance you know some of them have you know let's say we're in sports industry and we want to create heading one that is catchy and so on perhaps we can say oh five reasons why tiger woods is best um, golf player and you see that heading on that magazine and you think okay you know what hmm how can i include that into my um, online business and heading right 
something like that or perhaps I can say okay five reasons why small business owners must utilize online marketing in 2014 and so on meaning you will never run out of ideas for creating clever heading ones that pulls in your ideal customers to consume your web copy okay it doesn't matter what products or services you're selling because if you can't get your ideal customers to read your web copy well then they're not gonna buy from you they're not gonna buy from me so but head you know utilizing headings can be done along those lines okay not only you address Google as we can see in this example but you also communicate effectively through your headings you can use images in that first Eiffel no problems but nonetheless remember heading ones are very important web elements for Google rankings okay so what's next internal linking your navigation menu structure is something different and Google does follow the links within it right so therefore if you can include some of the keywords that you are interested in okay? you may have a website that consists of 1000 different pages okay? if that's the case surely you're not gonna have every single one of them in your um, navigation menu okay? that is why we know importance of you know using categories properly as we have shown you but nonetheless remember keywords within your internal links are very important okay so therefore utilize another element that you can further guide Google is perhaps you can emphasize cleverly some of the keywords that you're targeting on your web pages as we can see this is italic that means it's emphasized okay but the fact that I am emphasizing that if the content and communication of my web copy permits so, so that means it flows within that copy then emphasizing is another method to say you know what Google place a little bit more emphasis on these keywords because that's what I've done for you I emphasize them for you okay. also you can use strong tags to say you know what they are something different as far as all the other keywords on these pages is concerned that's why you bold them strong tag them right so that's another method as well you can use heading 3 as we can see we are utilizing heading 3 but remember as I've said we are designing our landing pages for our ideal customers and not for Google that's why this heading 3 isn't optimized at all because you know whatever the message I have below it doesn't allow me to do that if that's the case don't worry about it as long as you have heading one that's okay because you may be you know optimizing a product page right so that means perhaps the entire text is only this much if that's the case you're not gonna be able to have heading two or three or four but you should definitely have heading one Okay, so that's the whole idea meaning don't just think too much about on-page optimization okay because let's say you know a lot of people say oh internal linking is important yeah it is important and that's navigation menu structure is for that and not your web copy because you have to think like your ideal customer reading this right let's say they read 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 they read 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 and they come let's say here and if you emphasize that that's great but some people tell you to link that to other pages thus you, that's internal linking okay never utilize internal linking within your web copy thinking that it's gonna it's gonna help your um, Google rankings okay because <laughs> you shouldn't design your landing pages for Google in that sense your web copy is for your ideal customers to read through and if you put a link here that means you want them to go and visit that link so that breaks your communication because once they're gone to another page because you utilized internal linking along those lines then you haven't really gotten them to read whatever you're offering on your page so thus then that's another click but it's not an ideal click that you want 
so you can utilize internal linking no problems you know perhaps around here somewhere where you know whatever was above it was good enough for your ideal customer to read and then you can include an internal link taking your ideal customer to somewhere else if that's the case you know meaning if your content allows you to do that then that's great do that but try to avoid using internal links a lot within your web copy thinking it's just gonna help your SEO it may but it's not gonna help your conversions okay so therefore stay within reason as we know we can strong tag them because then that's a different web element than just normal text okay so that is another way to send a signal so you you can do it along these lines all right you can also if we can see here we are using that synonyms synonyms are a great way for you to not only um, target related terms because people may search them okay but also um, you know not you know let's say on your web page you have let's say 600 word text okay let's say okay and within that let's say you end up using your most important keywords let's say four times okay that may break your communication as it may be a little bit excessive but if you utilize synonyms as in words that are close then that's actually much smarter isn't it because some people may actually type this in Google instead of online marketing so therefore you can utilize it along those lines all right now what's next you can you know let's say you can bold this I've just highlighted it so I could show you okay you could bold it along these lines that means you don't just have to bold or emphasize the the keywords of importance to you you can if the communication allows you can emphasize the whole thing you can emphasize the whole entire different words meaning it doesn't just have to be this here okay so you could further guide Google along those lines let me close that okay you could do it along those lines as such or as such knowing that anytime we do things like that what we're saying is you know what whatever I am you know given bold element or emphasized element whatever you know whenever I do this it is different that means that's what you're saying to Google treat it different to all the other things that you see okay so another thing is you know optimizing our images which we will do in the next video session and we're gonna make it work with what we've been doing so far so I'm gonna show you how to do that in a minute and what else we can do yes okay I've got heading two here okay so as you can see you can you know if your content permits you can use headings along these lines too as in this is heading two whereas this is heading three as you can see okay it doesn't matter meaning as long as you logically break your web copy up okay so that means there is no heading two above this it makes no difference headings are important that's what I'm saying to you if your content is you know well written and you know thick content perhaps three four five hundred words then it allows you to have more headings if that's the case use them instead of just using large text use headings instead because Google looks at them as well now your call to actions as I've said internal linkings you have to be very intelligent of using them as in don't just use them for SEO say okay flash your call to actions exactly when you know that your ideal customer has read your copy it doesn't matter what the product or service you're offering okay so you can if you so choose utilize keywords within your call to action when it's appropriate and not before okay footer links yes 
you know if you can it depends on your website structure you can utilize internal linking on your footer meaning perhaps on your first navigation you only had um, let's say five different um, links branching out to uh, different categories but perhaps within your footer element you can perhaps include those extra links okay because we know how Google sees our web pages meaning the higher the the web elements as in navigation menu is high above the the the, the web elements side of things right headings are surely above the text and so on okay so the higher the the web element the better it is for you to utilize the keywords with it. now we know how to do that and I've just showing you non-technical easy to do web page web copy optimization is in where we can and how we can send strong signals not just for Google but also for our ideal customers right so design your landing pages for your customers now I've opened up my internet browser okay and I am logged into a, a typical WordPress site all the things that I've just shown you on in this video tutorials can be done by anyone meaning if you're using content management systems you can easily optimize your landing pages as I've shown you okay so titles are that the keywords in the URL are easily accomplished by almost all content management systems okay web copy is just a web copy your headings can be you know included your text and images or heading threes or heading twos okay so everything that I've just shown you can be done by anyone because it is non-technical SEO that I've shown you okay now before I close this let me also show you one more thing let's utilize Google's define feature let me ask Google to define what marketing is to me as we can see you can utilize Google like a dictionary and I actually always utilize this because it gives me synonyms okay related words so I strongly encourage you to you know start utilizing these when you want to identify some keywords okay because you know um, let's say when we look at the the synonyms here right at times you may come across some keywords that you can find from using this feature and then include that within your web copy because as far as Google is concerned that particular keyword that you're getting a synonym from as far as Google is concerned it is most relate most closely related to that term okay you can utilize that on your web pages when you find things like that as in you should utilize synonyms whether it's in your description as I've shown you whether it's in the titles whether it's in the web copy whether it's in the backlinks anchor text and so on okay nonetheless it's there for you check it out and utilize now we know exactly how we can send further signals to Google and also our potential customers okay and that's how you meant to optimize your landing pages in the next video session I'm going to go a little bit more technical side of things but remember you don't need to okay meaning what I've just shown you is good enough for you to include with everything else and combine it and utilize it for your own online business right but if we want to go a little bit deeper I'm gonna then show you some more technical um, tips and tricks where we can further guide Google to understand what our landing pages are all about and I'll do that in the next video session